Gregory John Norman is a former professional golfer and entrepreneur from Australia. Let's take a dive into the personal life of one of golf's most influential figures and reveal a few things you probably didn't know. During the 1980s and 1990s, he was ranked number one in the world for a combined total of 331 weeks. Wow. He was victorious in 89 professional competitions, among which were 20 PGA Tour events, two major championships, and both the 1986 and 1993 Open Championships. Throughout his career, Norman finished in the top 10 30 times, including eight times in majors, where he notoriously finished as runner-up, including two major collapses in the Masters. Nicknamed the Great White Shark was bestowed upon Norman as a result of his performance in the 1981 Masters Tournament. And this moniker is a reference to Norman's blonde hair, stature and aggressive golf style, and the local coastal animal of his homeland. He now serves as the chairman and chief executive officer of the Greg Norman Company, which is a multinational conglomerate with a portfolio of businesses operating in a variety of industries, including fashion, interior design, real estate, wine production, private equity, and golf course design. That's a lot. Also in 2021, he was given the position of chief executive officer of Live Golf Investments, a stand-up firm that was backed by the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia. Welcome inside the ropes to the golf caddy, where we give you the inside scoop into the world of professional golf from someone who has been there before. Norman was born in Mount Isa, Queensland, Australia. His mother was from Finland and his father was from the United States. He participated in sports such as rugby and cricket when he was younger and had dreams of becoming a professional surfer. However, at the age of 15, Norman was instructed in the game of golf by his mother, Toini, who had a handicap in the single digits. She also gave him the opportunity to caddy for her at the Virginia Golf Club in Brisbane. In the span of about 18 months, Norman went from having a handicap of 27 to having a handicap of scratch. At the Queensland Open in June 1974, when Norman was just 19 years old, he attracted the attention of the media. According to a report in the Canberra at times, the young amateur Greg Norman was just one shot behind the leader after the first round of competition. And in March of 1975, Norman made the transition from amateur to professional. Norman has won the Arnold Palmer Award as the PGA Tour's highest money winner three times, 1986, 1990, and 1995, and has five times earned more than $1 million on tour. He has also earned more than $10 million, becoming the first player in tour history to do so. In addition, his 20 PGA Tour victories in the 1980s and 90s are second only to Tom Watson's 21 victories in the same time period. In 1993, he shot a 267 in the final round of the Open Championship, which remains the tournament record until Henrik Stenson shot 264 at the 2016 Open Championship. Also, Norman won the BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year Award in 1986 and 1993, making him the third repeat winner of the award. The Sports Australia Hall of Fame designated Norman as a legend in 2007, and the Golf Course Superintendents Association of America presented him with their greatest honor, the old Tom Morris Award in 2008 at the Golf Industry Show in Orlando. Therefore, Norman is on the advisory committee and the trustee for the environment Environmental Institute of Golf. In addition, he won the Charlie Bartlett Award for the Golf Writers Association of America in 2008. And the Queensland Sports Hall of Fame included Norman in its ranks in 2009. Thus, Greg Norman was recognized as a sports legend and named one of the Q150 icons of Queensland in 2009. Plus, in 2015, he was honored with the National Golf Course Owners Association Award of Merit and the Australian Global Icon Award. 
Norman played with a lot of confidence and aggression. He is largely considered to be the top golf driver of all time. Norman finished in the top 20 in total driving on the PGA Tour 12 times between 1984 and 1997, including nine times in the top six. Many of Norman's professional rivals feared his long straight drives off the tee with a persimmon wood club head. In addition, the ball traveled far when hit by him because of his high launch angle. During an interview in 2009, Nick Price said, The best driver I ever saw was Greg Norman. Before he ever started dating Laura Andrushi, an American flight attendant, Norman was involved in a short relationship with British tennis player Sue Barker. But in July of 1981, Norman tied the knot with Andrushi. They welcomed Greg Norman Jr. and Morgan Lay into the world as their offspring. However, in 2006, they went their own ways and Andrushi was awarded a settlement of $105 million. In June of 2008, he married his new love, Chris. Chris Everett, a former tennis player who had the number one spot in the world as his bride on Paradise Island in the Bahamas. But the couple was only married for around 15 months until they divorced. In addition, on Necker Island in the British Virgin Islands in November of 2010, Norman tied the knot with another female, the interior designer Kirsten Kuttner. Greg Jr. served as Norman's best man during their wedding. In December 2020, Norman was diagnosed with COVID-19 and admitted to the hospital. While he was in the hospital, he updated his Instagram with the following statement. It's been an unpleasant one. I, for one, am looking forward to coming out of this quarantine and looking forward to constructing whatever the wonderful future is for 2021 and beyond. After Norman parted ways with his previous management organization, IMG, he established a new company in the year 1993. The company was formerly known as Great White Shark Enterprises. West Palm Beach, Florida serves as the location of the headquarters for the new worldwide firm. He began using the shark emblem, which has been licensed by Reebok for his line of clothes. Now it is associated with over a dozen other companies. The yearly revenue for the corporation is said to be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Also in 2016, the business rebranded itself as The Greg Norman Company using this name going Going forward. There are a large number of partnerships and partly owned firms operating under the canopy of the corporation in addition to the companies that are entirely owned by the company. For example, in 2004, Norman made an investment in GPS Industries situated in Vancouver and also became the company's ambassador. Also, the acquisition of Troon Golf, one of the biggest golf management firms in the world, which has over 250 golf courses in its portfolio, was accomplished by a partnership between GWSC and Kohlberg and Company. In addition to that, Norman is a major investment partner in Alchemy Global, a company that helps sports entrepreneurs find financial backers. Also, Norman serves as a brand ambassador and business partner for a wide variety of firms, including Qantas, with whom he has had a relationship since 1976, Cobra Golf, Omega, and others. Greg Norman serves as the chief executive officer of Live Golf Investments. However, lately he has been having some issues with Live Golf Investments because of various infractions. There is a potential that he may step down as CEO in the near future. For those who are unfamiliar with this situation, here is what has occurred. In May 2022, Norman was interviewed on Sky Sports News and questioned about Saudi Arabia's widespread breaches of human rights and how he felt about working for such people. In response, he said, no, they're not my bosses. We're autonomous. I do not answer to Saudi Arabia. I do not respond to MBS. According to publicly available information, the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia is the entity that was a majority ownership in Live Golf Investments. Thus, since 2015, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who serves as the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia, has been in charge of managing this fund. Additionally, Greg Norman will presumably stand down from the Live Golf in the near future, but we'll see about that. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.